Hey everyone, welcome back to FixBite. In today's video, I'll show you how to install John the Ripper, a powerful password cracking tool on Windows. Whether you're a cybersecurity enthusiast or just curious, this step-by-step -step guide will help you get started. So let's dive right in. Step one, downloading John the Ripper. First, let's download John the Ripper. Open your web browser and go to the official website. I have provided the link in the description below. Scroll down and find the Windows Binaries section. Select 64-bit Windows Setup for 64-bit Operating System and for 32-bit Operating System, select 32-bit Windows Setup. In my case, I have 64-bit Operating System, so click over here to download the setup. Step two, extracting the files. Once the download is complete, let's extract the files. Navigate to your downloads folder and place the zip file as per your desired location. Right click on the downloaded zip file and select extract here. Step three, running John the Ripper in command prompt. Now that we have extracted the files, let's run John the Ripper. Open the folder where you extracted the files. Locate the run folder inside. Click on the address bar, type CMD, and press enter to open command prompt in that directory. Type john.exe and press enter to check if it's working. If you see the help menu, you're good to go. Open CMD directly from start menu, click john.exe. You can see that it's not recognized as command. Now, if you want to run John Ripper directly from CMD, we have to add the john.exe path to environment variable. For that, right-click on PC, then click Properties. Over here, select Advanced System Settings, click Environment Variables. Over here, click New and Variable Name, type John Home, In Variable Location tab, copy the location where John.xa is placed. And paste it over here. Click OK now, select. Path and click Edit. Click New. Over here, add name of your environmental variable. By start with percentage sign, John name ending with percentage sign. Then click OK. We have successfully added John.exe in environment variable. Now let's run John directly from CMD and let's see if it is working. Go to start menu, type CMD in command prompt. Type John.exe, press enter. You can see that now Command Pro PMT is able to identify John.exe as a command. And that's it. You've successfully installed and tested John the Ripper on Windows. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cybersecurity content. If you want me to make videos for how to use John Ripper for password cracking, let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.